In this video, we'll be going over why and how to set the calibration and gas factors on the FP524D combustible gas sensor unit. Be sure to confirm with the site supervisor or operator as to what the gas and calibration factor should be set to before starting. Furthermore, be sure that the site operator knows when you will be changing the factors and have the unit in bypass mode. After altering the unit, it is recommended that you perform a calibration on the unit as well to ensure that it will remain accurate. As a note, if you will be using the FP524D to detect any LEL gas other than methane, you will be changing the gas factor. If you will be calibrating with any LEL gas other than methane, you will be changing the cal factor. If you need guidance with how to determine what the gas or calibration factor should be set to, please refer to the manual that came with the unit. With the unit powered up, hold the DECON programming magnet over PGM2 for 3 seconds. The display will read View Sensor Status across the screen. Hold the magnet over PGM2 until an arrow pointing down appears. Immediately remove the magnet. The display will now read Set Auto Span Level. Hold the magnet over PGM2 again until an arrow appears. Immediately remove the magnet. The display will now read Set Gas Factor. Keep the magnet over PGM2 until the display reads Set Gas Factor, at which point you can now flick the magnet over PGM1 to increase the factor and flick it over PGM2 to decrease the factor. Once you have the factor to where you need it, hold the magnet over PGM2 for 5 seconds. The display will read Gas Factor Saved. The display will then read Set Gas Factor across the screen once again. At this point, if you do not need to change the cal factor, you can wait 5 seconds and the unit will go back into operational mode. If you wish to change the cal factor, hold the magnet over PGM2 until an arrow pointing down appears. Release the magnet and the display will now read set cal factor. Simply repeat the process done to get the new gas factor. Once you have finished, hold the magnet over PGM2 until it reads cal factor saved. Remove the magnet and let the unit sit until it goes back into operational mode. Having changed the gas and cal factors, we recommend that you proceed to complete a zero and span calibration before taking the unit off of bypass mode. This completes our tutorial for setting the calibration and gas factors on the DECON FP524D combustible gas sensor unit. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us directly using the email provided in the description below. And if you found this tutorial useful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to receive updates on more ProTech product tutorials.